Hi, this is Adam here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your heart rate training zones for cycling and running in your Training Peaks training log. Now at this point we're assuming that you've already gone out and done your uh, discipline specific field tests, or maybe you have some results of some recent races that we've uh, already taken a look at, and we've determined what your lactate threshold heart rate is for running and for cycling. So you're going to take those numbers and you're going to log in to your Training Peaks training log. And here we're using Kai's log to demonstrate. You want to click on Account Settings in the upper right hand corner. And that's going to pull up your uh, Account Settings window. We want to go over here to the left hand side and find the tab that says Zones. And click on Zones. Now this pulls up the Training Zones information. And we can see we have Heart Rate Zones, we have power zones and we have pace and speed zones. So in this video we're just gonna go over how to input the numbers for the heart rate zones. Now what we see in front of us here is just uh, some default numbers and default settings uh, from Training Peaks. So we need to obviously input Kai's specific information here. And we want to add a zone for biking and we want to add a zone for running. Okay, so let's start with the running. We have uh, the results of Kai's time trial. We determined his lactate threshold heart rate for running to be 165. So we're going to go ahead and input that there. Uh, you don't have to worry about maximum heart rate or resting heart rate. We do happen to have his resting heart rate, so we'll go ahead and input that there. Now we want to use the calculation method that says Joe Friel for running. You want to click on that. I'm going to go ahead and hide those options. And we can see that it has automatically calculated the heart rate zone specific to running for Kai. So we want to save those. And now we want to do the same thing for biking. So we'll click on that bike tab. We need to input the lactate threshold heart rate for cycling. And again, we got these numbers uh, from the field tests that Kai went out and did. And now for the calculation methods, we want to use Joe Friel for cycling. So click on that. And again, I'll hide those options. Just want to fix this resting heart rate. There we go. All right, so we have automatically calculated the uh, heart rate training zones for cycling. We want to save those. And so now we're all set up for running, for biking. He has the heart rate zones. Apply those. OK. And there we go. It's as easy as that. So remember, train smart, and we'll see you out there.